Hello, my name is Elder Price, and I would like to share with you the most amazing fanfiction that my friend wrote. This is a Robot Wars fanfiction, which I don't know, you probably have Robot Wars in America, you like, you like, you have, you have, what are they called, the thing where cars smash into each other, it's basically that but on a smaller scale and with more robots. This is A+, plus, you know, fresh, hot off the press fanfiction that I was just throwing a hair from my face backwards. <clears throat> Matilda, I'm home! Sir Killerlock called happily. He detached his infamous lance and removed his flamethrower, sighing contentedly. The two components, whilst making him the most powerful house robot, were very heavy and more than slightly uncomfortable. It was always a relief to take them off at the end of the day. He was so distracted in removing his attachments, he almost didn't notice that Matilda hadn't replied to his greeting. This was unusual. Normally, she was waiting at the door for him. That was when they hadn't come home from work together. She hadn't done that for a while now. Matilda blamed it on conflicting schedules. Matilda? So Killerlot asked somewhat tentatively. Are you in? I'm in the kitchen, came a voice. Was it his imagination, or did she sound distant? Sir Killerlot swallowed and put the thought out of his mind. She probably just had a bad day at work. Hello, he said, approaching her where she sat at the kitchen table with a small smile. Bit cold out, isn't it? When Matilda didn't reply, Sir Killerlot tried again to make conversation. So, how was your day? You know how my day was. You were there, she said, almost coldly. Sir Killerlot looked at her, hurt and confused. Have I... Have I done something wrong? She, uh, he asked quietly. <clears throat> Matilda closed her eyes and sighed heavily, a conflicting look crossing her face. No, yes, oh, I don't know. Look, kill a lot. I'm sorry, I really am. There's honestly no easy way to do this. It was then that he noticed the suitcase sitting on the floor next to her. A sudden wave of panic and dread flushed over through, flushed through him, and then he felt numb. What, what's going on? I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore, Kill a Lot. You've got to have felt it too. We haven't been right since series five. Tears glistened in her eyes. Yeah, tears glistened in her eyes as she spoke. Her tusks trembled slightly. I don't understand, said Sir Kill a Lot, a lump looming threateningly in his throat. You love me. I love you. A second surge of fear flooded him, this time accompanied by a nausea in the pit of his stomach. Is there. is there someone else? Just saying the words made him want to be sick. It couldn't be true. He and Matilda were perfect together. They always had been. There was no way there could be someone else. It just didn't make sense. But Matilda had looked away. Tears fell to the kitchen table from her beautiful eyes. She didn't say anything. Oh God. Oh no. Please tell me this is some kind of sick joke. Matilda shook her head. Sir Killalot had to reverse back and lean against the wall to keep himself from falling over. The room was spinning. This couldn't be happening. Who is it? His throat sounded choked. Horse. Refbot, she whispered. Kill a lot. I... Don't call me that, Sir Killalot hissed. Don't say his name and then call me that. You have no right. It's Sir Killalot to you. Well, go on then. You were leaving, weren't you? He said acidically, averting his gaze. He couldn't look at her. He heard the scraping of her wheels on the kitchen floor and the whir of her 12-volt motor as she made her way down the hall to the front door. There was a pause, a muffled sob and the sound of a door opening. It was then that he snapped. He was ten times the robot that Refbot could ever be. What did Refbot have that he didn't? All the other robot had was a shunt, a clock, and a fire extinguisher. He was, in effect, a glorified stopwatch. Sir Killerlock could see him at work the next day, flushly sma- flushly smaggling? Smugly flashing those lights of his? No, Sir Killerlock would be damned if he was going to take this lying down. He rushed to the front door, where which Matilda had closed behind her and flung it open. Matilda? Matilda? MATILDA! <laughs> Matilda stopped then and turned around. Sir Killerlot was reminded starkly of the time in series four when he had accidentally torn off one of her wheels, leaving her only able to drive around in circles. They had laughed about it at the time, but looking back, it was very likely contender for a contributing factor as to why she was leaving him now. He opened his mouth to speak, to try and convince her to somehow stay but she lifted her tusks to stop him. She looked at him sadly, then said one word before turning again and continuing on her way to Refbot and out of Killalot's life. Cease. So, laters, skaters.